Well, you know, we're all looking forward to welcoming the warmer weather, but it can also mean allergy season for humans and our furry friends. But unlike humans who sneeze and cough, dogs exhibit their seasonal allergy symptoms through their skin, their ears, and their paws. Here to explain uh, how to know if your pet is affected and what you can do to treat the symptoms, veterinary dermatologist Dr. Kinga Gortel. Nice to see you again. Nice to see you. Thank you so much for having me on your show. So I wonder how many people out there have been witnessing symptoms not knowing what it is. Uh, what are they? Well, the symptoms of seasonal allergies in dogs are so different than they are in people. And this really came to light in a recent survey, which asked a number of Canadian dog owners whether they could tell what these symptoms were. And the vast majority of them couldn't. Mm -hmm. So the symptoms that you'll see, the signs that you'll see with seasonal allergies in dogs <laughs> are very much focused on the skin. Right. So not the respiratory symptoms that we expect right. in people, but itchy ears, ear infections, very inflamed, irritated skin, and very often a very interesting sign is chewing of the feet. So uh -huh. licking and chewing of the feet. That's a very, very common one as well. This is Tito, by the way, and Tito yes. looks happy. Really <laughs> happy right now. Happy, and he is not suffering from allergies, so. So that's good. Yes. Okay, so you may be seeing this. Um, how do you know, I mean, you know, they scratch themselves fairly regularly. Mm -hmm. How would you know which is, when it starts to when get When it's bad? excessive. Yeah. Well, certainly it's excessive if they're creating any kind of sores or red areas, mm -hmm. if they're causing hair loss. But a lot of times I think that, you know, for many people, um, it's quite obvious if they'll have maybe two pets in the house, one is scratching a lot more than the right. other. Um, many of them lose sleep, so if they're uh -huh. not sleeping well, if they are distracted in the middle of a walk in order to scratch, that's probably also very abnormal. Okay, are there different types of allergies that dogs can suffer from? There certainly are, and the ones that we see at this time of year often relate to pollens, pollens, molds, all the things that start to come out in the springtime. But there are also year-round allergies that can cause year-round symptoms as well. Uh, can they be allergic to something in food also? Absolutely. So food allergies are a whole separate um, type of allergy that we, we see, and those, of course, are more often year-round. Okay, so what do we do? We see these symptoms and we have to come talk to somebody like right. you to try to deduce, I guess, yes. what, what's the process? Well, absolutely. So the first thing to know is that there is help and there is a lot that can be done. And these animals don't have to suffer from these recurrent ear infections and skin problems. And your veterinarian is your best resource for trying to, to get it figured out. So see your vet and your veterinarian may recommend a course of medications, mm -hmm. um, maybe a dietary change to try to improve the, um, the integrity of the skin, um, may recommend shampoos, creams, and other things things that are applied directly to the skin, um, but certainly there's a lot that can be done and these animals don't need to um, suffer Tito. all spring, oh. summer and fall <laughs> long. I think Tito wants to get out of here. Uh, is there anything that we can do preventatively or you just kind of have to wait for the symptoms to arise and, and deal with it then? If you know that your pet suffers from seasonal allergies, then there are some preventative measures. So for example, shampooing them to remove the pollens and, and other allergens from the skin, as well as getting them on a very good plane of nutrition to try to protect their skin, um, improve that barrier function that uh, makes it more difficult for those allergens to be absorbed through the skin. So absolutely there are some, some preventative things that you can do as well as treating the symptoms once they arise. And before we let you go, anything else that we need to kind of be uh, aware of as the seasons change, hopefully? <laughs> uh, <laughs> so I guess the, the main things would be to remember how different seasonal allergies are in dogs compared to people and that while with ourselves we expect to see sneezing and runny eyes in dogs the signs are very very different and um, and not to ignore them these these animals are suffering and there's a lot that can be done okay so contact your veterinarian mm -hmm. if you suspect this is going on very Absolutely. nice to see you again you as well Tito, thank, you. thank you for being very very patient <laughs> I'm gonna need a lint roller over here Dave